is clear. We've got a long way to go to flatten the curve here in southeast Texas. We broke a record today for the most new cases in a single day in Jefferson County. 204 and 148 of those new cases came from Beaumont. The state of Texas following the same trend. Listen to this. If Texas were a country, it'd be the 11th most active hotspot with 1,600 cases per 1 million residents. Now these numbers likely explain why thousands of you are looking for testing sites, just eager to learn your status. Check out these long lines from all across the state. And as more folks are getting tested, the labs are having a tough time keeping up. Doctors say in some cases, Jordan, results are so delayed, they're almost useless. 12 News reporter Victoria DeLeon explains why some test results are taking longer than others. Well, as we start to see more testing sites across the state, um, it's easy for labs to become overwhelmed. And while reporting positive tests is made a priority, testing issue delays have been made an issue for health officials. A quick search on Google shows us the most common questions Southeast Texans have regarding coronavirus are about testing, wait times specifically. Port Arthur Public Health Director Judith Smith says that can be linked to the increase in testing. As more facilities in our area are doing the testing and more labs are having to be used, I can see it may be a little overwhelming right now and so the wait may be may take a little bit longer. The state reportedly tested nearly 800 people at the Bob Bowers Civic Center in Port Arthur this week. Like with the site that was done today, they're going to make sure that we get the positive first. So people with negative tests might be waiting longer to hear that they're negative. Legacy Community Health in Beaumont is reporting seven to 10 days to get lab results back. In a statement, Quest Diagnostics, one of the major testing labs in the country, says the demand for COVID-19 testing continues to surge, causing further delays in turnaround times. For Priority 1 patients, meaning patients in hospitals and symptomatic health care workers, their results are expected back in a day. For everyone else, they're looking at a four to six day wait time. And this is an issue that's being echoed statewide. According to Austin Public Health Authority, Dr. Mark Escott, increased wait times make it hard to slow the spread of the virus. The test results are, are relatively useless for us because the purpose of the testing is to identify the contacts, to isolate the positive person, their contacts, get their contacts tested, to box it in. So if you do get tested, health officials say it's best to act as if you were a positive case and self-quarantine. This way, you're helping to prevent any further spread if your test comes back positive. In Beaumont, Victoria DeLeon, 12 News.